Hi everyone, welcome to harshwadhanart.com. In today's video, we are going to learn how to color grade images professionally in Photoshop. Coming up. Hi everyone, I am Harshwadhan. Welcome to another superb episode. In this video, we are going to learn the professional color grading techniques in Photoshop. In the previous video, we have learned high end skin retouching using my free Photoshop action, and then we have learned the dosing and burning technique using again my free Photoshop action, which you can download absolutely free from the link in the description section below. And now the next step comes, and that is of color grading in Photoshop. So let's get started first of all i will walk you through the basics of color grading in photoshop what are the things which you need to keep in mind while color grading and what are the things which you need to avoid while color grading your images in photoshop so we'll be color grading this image as you can see and first of all let's get to the basics of the color grading in photoshop so for this purpose i'll show you the basic principles so there are basically three things in any image one is the highlight which is the brightest part of the image you can see that this has been represented with the white color so the highlights are the brightest part of the image and then we have the mid-tone which is somewhat the middle tone which doesn't have that much of highlight that much of shadows and then finally we have the shadows and that has been represented with the black color somewhat black they are not completely black sometimes they are also black so we have three things one is highlights one is mid-tone and second is the shadows so we have to color grade all of these three separately or each of these separately but if you just do one thing like if you just color grade everything with the same color it won't look good so that would be a color toning rather than color grading so that is the difference between color toning and the color grading so let me show you what I mean if I just create one solid color layer and let's uh, make it something like this green and press ok and then change this layer blend mode to let's say color so as you can see that we have targeted the mid-tone shadows and highlights with the exact same color. So this is not color grading. This is color toning. So if I change this color, I just double click it and change this color to something else. It's going to be changed into that one. And most people do commit this mistake because they don't understand the difference between color toning and color grading. So this is simply a color toning and what is color grading which we will learn in this video later. So this is color toning. So I'll just turn this off because we have not separated anything. So we have applied the same color on the highlights, on the mid tones and on the shadows. So that's why this is not looking that good. All right. But if you'll just separate each of these and apply different colors to these one then you will get the amazing professional result and that would be called the color grading so now let's take a look what are the things which you need to avoid while color grading first of all you have to target each of these separately and then there is a skin tone and as far as skin tone is concerned always try to keep the skin tone natural if you want the professional result you need to keep the natural skin tone intact so you don't want to mess it up always keep the skin tone intact and if you just mess it up you will see it looks very ugly and it won't look good so always avoid the color grading the skin tones try to keep it natural or close to natural always unless you are going with the crazy color toning like which I just showed you all right so these are the three things which you need to keep in mind so let's review each of these things first of all you need to target the highlights mid-tone and shadows separately and then you need to avoid color grading the skin tones always try to keep it natural as you can all right so having said that let's get started and start color grading this image so there are so many different ways of color grading in adobe photoshop but in this video i'll show you just one and in the coming videos you will learn other methods of color grading in photoshop so let's get started 
So for this purpose, which is the easiest and the fastest way of color grading is using the color balance adjustment layer. So for this purpose, you need to go to the adjustments. Click here and select this weighing like icon, which is called the color balance adjustment layer. Just click it and that's going to create this color balance adjustment layer over here. Okay, and then we need to go to its properties. So these are the properties and over here if you just click on this little arrow You will see that we have three options over here. We have the shadows We have the midtones and we have the highlights So it has three channels It has separated all of these for us and we can target each with the help of these three sliders so we can add the cyan or red in into the shadows we can add the magenta or green we can add the yellow or the blue so similarly we have the same sliders for the midtones and for the highlights as well so using these we have to color grade this image so there is no hard and fast rule that you have to follow each and every number which I put in over here so it's all experimentation and all depends on what kind of a look you want and what kind of a color grading you like all right so there is nothing right or wrong always go with your intuition whatever you like just go for that one all right so first of all I will target the shadows which is the first channel so I'm going to target the shadows just look at this and watch so for this purpose, let's say I will add some red in the shadows. So I'll drag this red slider towards the red one. Maybe something like this and then the second one magenta. So I'll click and drag it towards the magenta side or if I want the greener one, then I can go opposite side towards the green, but I'm going to add the magenta little bit magenta to this image to something like this and then we have the yellow channel so I'll just click and let's add little bit more blue or let's see how it looks with the yellow one so if I drag it to the yellow side you can see yellow is also looking good but it is taking away what we have just did so I'll just add little bit of blue it over it so you can see the result by turning this eye icon on and off so this is before and this is after we have just targeted only the shadows and mid-tone and the highlights are yet to be graded with the help of this color balance adjustment layer. So now click on the channels and select the mid-tone. So now we are going to target the mid-tone. Over here you need to keep this thing in mind that you need to keep the skin tone natural. All right. So always pay attention to the skin tone that make sure you are not affecting the skin tone way too much so that it looks unnatural. All right. So first of all, we have the option for slider. So we'll click and add, let's say a little bit cyan or red. All right. Red is fine. And then we have the magenta and green slider. So let's add a little bit of green and then we have the yellow and blue channel so let's add little bit blue something like this all right so now we have not made much of the difference so you can see by turning this on and off and now let's target the highlights so in the highlights we will first work on the first channel cyan and the red so let's add little bit cyan maybe something like this and then we have the magenta so let's add little bit magenta or let's try to add little bit green and let's try to adjust the third slider yellow and blue so for this purpose i'm going to add little bit more blue all right and if you want you can just change the cyan to the red as well so if you want to go for something like this if you just go for way too much to 100% that's not going to look good so you have to add a little bit of that so maybe over here it's looking good and let's add something like this okay so now we have color graded this image with the help of these color balance adjustment layer which has 
three channels shadows mid tones and the highlights so if you just turn this on and off you will see the difference and now you can enhance it even further with the help of other adjustment layers like curves adjustment so you can add a little bit more contrast to the, this by clicking and dragging it down and clicking on the highlights and drag it up and drag this little bit more down and if you want to open up the shadows or want to create a fade effect click and drag it up and then you can go to the oops adjustments and uh, let's say select this brightness or exposure adjustment layer and then we can increase the exposure a little bit and then we have the gamma correction so we can just add little bit more contrast to the image and then we can go for vibrance adjustment layer which is over here click and we can increase the vibrance and the saturation okay so that's going to make the color pop even further and i think that i have added too much of contrast so what i'll do i'll just select this exposure adjustment layer and click back the gamma correction something like this all right and i will select all of these select all of these and press ctrl g or command g to group them together and now you can see the result let me show you the full screen so this is our before image and this is after we have color graded this image and if you think that you have somehow overdone it you can always go back to this group select any of these adjustment layers and then you can readjust that according to your liking or your choice like for example we can adjust the curves as well we can even lower down their opacity if you want you can go back to color balance adjustment layer and suppose you change your mind that you don't want it this way so you can just change this to the like go for shadows or add the cyan little bit cyan so you will get this kind of a look you can change the magenta to the green you will get this kind of a result so we can get any kind of a look with the help of these adjustment layers so color balance adjustment layer is really amazing tool this is the easiest for the beginners and it works like a charm so you can get any kind of a look with the help of color balance adjustment layer and always make sure that you have to target each of the channels like highlights shadows and midtones separately and always keep the skin tone intact in the upcoming videos you will learn how to color grade using the available different tools in adobe photoshop so thank you so much i hope you have enjoyed today's episode if you did hit the like button consider sharing this video with your friends and family so that they can also get benefit from this video if you have any question or if you want to say something leave that in the comment section below and if you have not subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing Thank you so much. Bye-bye. See you in the next video. Till then, keep shooting and unleash the creative in you.